Well, most of us have been there. You feel like the world is crashing down on you. Just getting out of bed and putting yourself together takes every ounce of energy you have. You're down in the dumps, depressed, devastated. You have a broken heart. There are songs, there are poems, there are books written about them. But can a broken heart really have an impact on your health? Well, listen to this. Just this month, Olympia and Michael Donetis were in separate New Jersey hospitals. Olympia knew her 94-year-old husband's health had been declining as he was battling colon cancer. So, according to Olympia's granddaughter, she wanted to show him the way. Olympia died February 2nd. 32 hours later, her husband joined her. Here's what the granddaughter had to say about it. I think she was dying of a broken heart, but I also think she wanted to pass first so he wouldn't have to enter heaven without her. Give you goosebumps there? Hmm? Oh, yeah. When there are so many other stories like that, last year an Ohio couple that had been married for 65 years died within 11 hours of one another in their shared nursing home room. Harold and Ruth Napke's family say their dad died first as a final act of love. I'm convinced that he was thinking something along the lines of, well, I've been willing myself to be here for her, and now that's not appropriate. It's time for her to go. That means it's time for me to go, too. By the way, the Napkees were just days away from celebrating their 66th anniversary. Teary-eyed yet? How about this? In 2011, Gordon and Norma Yeager, married for 72 years, were in a car accident in Iowa. They both ended up in the hospital. They both died within 70 minutes of one another. And are you ready for this? They died while holding hands in the hospital. My heart's breaking just hearing these yeah. stories. Are all of these mere coincidences? Or could these deaths really be connected to a broken heart? Well, joining us today with some answers is Dr. Harry Hadda, cardiologist at Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining us this okay. afternoon. So can someone really die of a broken heart? Yes, although rarely but people can die from broken heart. It can happen. So it's, it, it's a medical condition? Yes, it's a serious medical condition. And what happens to the heart when someone has a broken heart? There is a weakening of the heart muscle and it assumes a very peculiar shape. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like the, the front of the heart is very weak, the base of the heart is pretty strong and when it beats, it creates a very peculiar shape and that's why it is named like Takasubo syndrome after the Japanese uh, octopus part or in medical term we call it apical ballooning syndrome. It means the same thing. Okay. Right. So it really is a heart attack. It's a heart attack. But it's caused for other reasons. Are, are, there, are there symptoms to this kind of a heart attack? It has the same symptoms like any other garden variety heart attack, mm -hmm. chest pain, short chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, and it behaves almost like any other kind of heart attack. So how can you tell if you're having a heart attack or you have a broken heart? First thing you need to go to the hospital. We evaluate there with cardiogram, some uh, imaging, and then when we take to the cardiac cath lab where we do the angiogram of the heart, right. we figure out that heart muscle is weak, but at the same time, the vessels are normal. There is no blockage. Okay, so let me make sure I understand what you're saying. Make sure I get this. Uh, 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 what would be considered, I guess, a regular heart attack? Um, the heart is kind of in the same shape, but there are blockages in the arteries in yes. the heart. But with the broken heart, it's a different shape, and there's no blockages. There's no blockage. Right. So do you treat the two differently? Uh, treatment is more or less same, because they are having the same issues of weak heart muscle. So we treat with aspirin, beta blockers, muscles to strengthen the uh, medicines to strengthen the heart muscle. And most of them will respond to the treatment and recover within four to six hours, four to six weeks. A four to six week recovery yes. from yes. a broken wow. heart. Yes. Okay, so yeah. one, one way we can, I guess, avoid getting a broken heart is to be in love, as, as interesting as it seems, right? Yes, be happy, live healthy life, keep your emotions under control if you can, do meditation. Uh -huh. And if you have any stress, share with your friends and family so that you are not alone. And when you have this problem, having severe chest pain, take, seek medical help as quick as possible. Talk about it, and if it feels like it's happening, call somebody. Yeah. Yes. Dr. Hedda, thank you Very so much for some wonderful yeah, information. Much information. And if you'd like to read more from PRMC about heart health, go to delmarvalight.com and click on the show tab. 
Perhaps you want to fall in love. Is chivalry really dead these days? Well, Lala Anthony, wife of NBA star Carmelo Anthony, has a lot to say about that. She joins us next to dish on that. Plus, she shares her secrets to falling in love. Okay, if we were honest, we would admit that we fall in <laughs> love with our pets, but boy, do they do some weird things. Uh, maybe you've got a dog that likes to go in circles before going to the bathroom. Maybe you have a cat that just likes to bring surprises to your doorstep. <laughs> well, guess what? It all means something. And wait till you hear what. But first, Valentine's Day is about to get a lot sweeter for one of our viewers because they just won an Edible Arrangements box of chocolates. Congratulations to today's box of chocolates winner, Joan Marble from Seaford in Sussex County. Now, we'll announce our grand prize winner a little later in the show. That person wins a two-night stay at the Holiday Inn and Suites in Ocean City. Dinner for two at the Coral Reef Restaurant in Ocean City. A dozen roses from Kitty's Flowers and a beautiful diamond engagement ring. This one right here from Park Place Jewelers. Could you be the lucky one? Don't marvel life. We'll be right back.